Hi, I'm Abraham from Trainit here. Thank you for joining. Today we're going to go through my live training session and we're going to learn what to do based on the expected move of the S&P 500. So first, let's take a look at the S&P. The S&P is down today. It starts with a gap down, small gap down, 0.3%, and therefore you expect it to move up at least to the point where it closes the gap and then normally come down. Why? Because yesterday we had a down day and therefore I expect a continuation. Now first, since I expect the S&P to move higher, I will look for stocks which are likely to move higher. S&P moving up, which means institutional buyers are buying. FSLR is up over 6%, almost 7%. i am about to buy right here because it just moved over the highs. Once a stock like that, at the beginning of the trading session, these are one minute candles, is moving higher, you expect it to continue moving higher. There should be a lot of buyers. Greed is our best friend sometimes. And then, as you can see, it just moved over the highs. FSLR looking great. I'm up $3,000, $4,000, about to take my profit. I really like to take a quick profit. Took, left just 200 shares. Now, normally at the beginning of the trading session, you want to have a quick in and a quick out. And this is based also on the help of the S&P, as you can see. A small green candle is forming. It will continue to move higher. We will see that soon. Now, until then, Rivian is very weak. It's down 10%. It's a classic gap and go. I don't care much about market direction because Rivian is down 10%. Therefore, like it to break it down. I'm shorting 4,000 shares here. It's not a huge mover, but it's likely to continue. It just broke down under the lows. I'm going to fast forward it so we can see what happened there. Again, one minute candle is at the beginning of the trading session. So at this point, I'm slightly up. It is trending lower. And again, you would expect it to move lower even without market help. The fact is the market is slightly moving up right now, again, in the direction of closing the gap. Just reached my target. I'm up $1,600, taking my partial here, leaving 400 shares. I will be sorry for that later because it continued coming down another dollar. Anyway, Nvidia. Nvidia is near the lows. Now, the market is still moving up, but the Nvidia is about to break down and the market just stopped. I'm shorting 4,000 shares in Nvidia. Nice breakdown here. We'll see it later. Now take a look at the S&P. The S&P moved up, closed the gap and continued a little bit higher than that. Now at that point, I can see a red candle forming. Since this red candle is approximately the point where the gap was closed, I'm considering it as a possible change of direction. I wouldn't normally because the S&P is moving up, but since it started with the gap up today, moved up and closed the gap, I will consider it as a possible reversal. So I'm looking for stocks which are relatively weak. Tesla is down 1.5%. Beautiful breakdown formation. I'm about to short it right over here, shorting 2000 shares. Here comes the breakdown in Tesla. Again, I'm going to fast forward it so you can see what happened there. Uh, it is moving down and the S&P, we'll, we'll come back to it later, is helping me because again, it closed the gap and started coming down at that point. So we're trending lower. Tesla is looking great. It just reached my target. I'm up over $2,000 and I'm taking my partial right over here, covering 1,800 shares, leaving just 200 shares. Now take a look at the S&P. We did move up what was a small reversal at the top, which normally you would not consider as a change of direction in the case of a gap down up and closing the gap, you would expect it as a possible reversal, which, what, which is what I did. Now, take a look at Nvidia. I'm still short Nvidia. It did not reach my target. It is trending lower. It is weak. It's down more than 1%. I'm up 17, 19, 2000 dollars right now. Again, a fast forward in Nvidia, I'm up over 3000 dollars, getting to the point where I would like to take my partial, a beautiful breakdown. The market is helping, taking my partial, leaving just 200 shares. So, again, it's all at the beginning based on the SP. You expect the market to move up, you look for stocks which are relatively strong. And I had one trade like that. And then at the point where it closes the gap, you expect it to reverse. And again, it's all about expectations. When you're a trader, you need to trade according to your expectations. You don't only trade breakouts or breakdowns. You look for things that you expect and you try to get into a trade before it happens. And here are my results. 
I'm up just under $12,000, actually over $12,000 with my open trades. I st I'm still riding uh, Tesla as short, Nvidia and Rivian. I'm out of FSLR, uh, but uh, and I also had one loser in NVEX. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you do, please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There's a button right here and click on the bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. Plenty of links right here below. One of them is for my live trading room. You can join me right now for a 14 day trial. No credit card is required. There's a link right here below. Join me because all of these trades and other are called live in our live trading room. We share our picks each and every day and you are very welcome to join. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video.